Ivan Rowe's transfer mail continues to bubble as another, yes, another striker has been linked with Blackburn Rovers. This time coming at you from the Premier League. Who am I talking about? I'll tell you a look next. That's right, folks. Papa's came with another transfer video today. We take a look at, of course, another striker linked with Blackburn Rovers. Who is it? We're gonna take a little look in just a second. Of course, big shout out to my VRPs. They are the patrons, of course. And if you're new, where you been? Smash your subscribe and make it all things Rovers related, transfers related, world football related. We're all here, boys. Under Warrusky, of course. I am talking about a Premier League striker coming at you, or at least potentially Premier League striker. He may or may he may actually be a, a Championship striker, and we'll take a little look. Uh, add him in just a second, of course. And remember, maybe a shout out to my VRPs. You know who you are. Uh, but of course, I am talking about Tom Cannon, that's right. Uh, as of course, he's currently on the books of Everton and has been linked with Blackburn Bloody Rovers. Here we go then, of course, here's, a, here's an article. Now, this is not necessarily a, 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 a legitimate source. It's the Deep Down Digest. Um, of course, it was posted on the 21st. Uh, of May, but it's coming out of journalist Alan Nixon, of course. I think he's the son, works for the sun. He's got a Patreon account, um, and of course, this. I think I think you, if you had the sun, the paper, you'll be able to see it. Swansea also linked with a 20 year old who was with Preston last season, but he is on the books of Everton. And again, if Everton are to get relegated, uh, he may, maybe, uh, may, may, his future may be that with that at Goodison Park. So we'll see. Uh, what happens with that. But let's take a look at who he is, of course. Well, here, here is the young lad. Uh, let's get myself out of the way. I'm, I'm blocking a lot of the stats here. Where am I? Where am I? I'm down here. So let's slide over here. Now, we'll look at him. Of course, here he is with all his numbers. Uh, he is uh, uh, born in 2002, which, uh, again, get your calculus out. I think he's 20 years old, uh, or 21 years old, I think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. He is around about 5 foot 11, 101, 1 meter 80, and of course was brought through the team by Carlo Ancelotti. Uh, these are his numbers for uh, the championship, and championship alone. He may have played in these other competitions, but we are focusing on his time uh, at Deepdale. 20 games, 8 goals. Uh, just the one assist. He was involved in 95% of the starting 11 for uh, Preston and 93% of the minutes were played. He was contributed to 43% of all the goals that did take place um, uh, at Deepdale. Uh, and these are, uh, the, of course, when the goals took place. And as you can see, he had, he had a bit of a staggered start uh, for for um, for Preston, uh, he, uh, he joined in January. Didn't get his first goal till uh, to the back end of February. Scored one against uh, a, a Wigan, uh, but then he really hit form around about March, uh, chipping in with two uh, for six goals in the space of what six games, seven games there. Uh, so pretty good return. Well, it must be seven goals there, seven or eight goals, three, six, six, three yeah, whatever. Uh, but he's he's up there and he's uh, he's uh, a decent little gem now. Uh, of course, if there is any. Um, uh, uh, longevity in this in this uh, alleged rumor, then I think out of the names that have been touted so far, and we've covered a bunch of them right here, uh, your Miles Lieberns, your Nesbits, your of course uh, your, your Bishops. This one has some uh, has has got me a little bit excited. Of course, we're taking punts. We'll be taking punts on the likes of Nesbit, Lieberns, probably Bishop, and whoever else uh, who have not set foot. In the championship, the championship is a cutthroat division, and and um, uh, Cannon may have staggered at the beginning, but of course Preston have been good with their striking loans. Cameron Archer has proven to be a, a very hot topic of property uh, over the past couple of seasons, joining Burrowlass uh, this this pre previous campaign uh, and scoring goals as well. So. So uh, yeah, if if we could make something this like this happen, then I'll be all for it. But what does he bring to the table? We'll have a look at him. Of course, there he is. He has, he can play on the left hand side as well, and we'll kind of compare him to uh, what we have already within those positions. He was prolific, quite prolific as well for the uh, academies at Everton. Scored 29 goals in 42 games for the under 18s, 22 goals for 55 games for the under 21s, and also quite lucrative in the assists. And as you can see, uh, those goals are reflected in the respective uh, uh, academy competitions, the under 20, under 18s Premier League, as well as the Premier League 2 uh, as well. And again, played one time uh, for Preston on that left-hand side, um, but again, predominantly preferred down the middle. Uh, so let's have a, let's rank him then, of course, according to, to other players. He is of Irish descent, born in Aintree, but uh, uh, of Irish heritage, and he's ranked 16th 
among all Irish players. That's pretty good for him. As for Preston, who is their sixth player, best player this past campaign. 104th ranked within the championship as well. Now, these are all players, not just strikers. 104th ranked, uh, I believe. Uh, 2,424th within the world, uh, ranked 382nd uh, within centre forwards, and 144th ranked with players born in 2002, just outside the top 100 of his year. I say just outside, so it's considerably outside. But anyway, here is uh, some uh, the comparisons here to our current striker, Sam Gallagher. Now, they, according to this, they're both valued at around about £3.5 million. Now, we did have a quick glance at his height. 180 was it. So Gallagher does offer a much, much uh, significant advantage if that is a deciding factor uh, now his contract does expire at Preston uh, this campaign in, in, in the end of May um, and he goes back and well, he's probably already back at, uh, at Goodison of course keeping an eye on what's going on over there he's considerably younger uh, than uh, Sam Gallagher seven years junior um, but um, uh, definitely a uh, you know, we were seeing, we've seen other Premiership players come to the Championship, try to prove themselves, Troy Parrott being one of them. And he also uh, has, has managed to go through Deepdale on his journey. But, of course, never really, never really cemented himself as, a, as, a, as, a, as someone who could who could handle Championship football. Cannon, though, again, sloppy start, rough start, but really grew to his own as the season kicked on. And Preston were flirting with the playoffs uh, right until the bitter end as well and I think his contribution up front was was pretty good and again he got on the he got on the goal train and when he, once he got on the goal train he it was hard for him to get off the goal train so uh, can we be a front and the front and center for this one let's hope so of course let's take a look at the quick values then uh, of course Sam Gallagher's values uh, uh, kind of gone up and down over the over the years uh, since his loan spell with us, he was once uh, valued at one million. Of course, soared up to three million, and he's now nestling around about three point five million pounds as well. Now, again, uh, reading uh, between the lines at uh, at uh, some of the some of the articles and, and, and suggestions out on social media, we may have to sell to buy. Um, and of course, if uh, if we're looking for players of value left, of course, Diaz gone, Dak gone, um, Kaminsky is one of them, but also Sam Gallagher is probably one of our highest earning players. I think he recently signed a contract, so that. It's a little bit of a hurdle that we may need, need to navigate, but uh, 3.5 million pounds. If we could get anywhere near that, I think uh, we would. It would be great to invest it in a player of Cannon's ability. Now it is, of course, just rumor mill, uh, all that kind of stuff at the moment. But uh, what is my main takeaway uh, on this? If I can, if I can figure it out, how do I, how do I get back to just me? That's not me. Uh, where am I? Uh, 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 there we go. There I am. Uh, of course. Um, this player, uh, Cannon, has got, uh, you know, he's only been involved in the championship within a season. But um, when you come in and, 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 pro and provide the, the numbers that he has provided within that uh, short uh, experience, I think it's hard not to get excited by a player of his calibre. But I don't know. It's, uh, we, there is a lot of, um, the this, this summer is going to be long for Rovers, whether or not, if you also look at uh, the suggestions or the, the, the possible ramifications that could be um, happening behind the scenes whether within our within our staff and management is JDT's uh, future going to be with us of course uh, there are bubblings about that there's going to be a video if not already about his um, about his future or should we be worried about that and will that have uh, uh, implications with prospects such as Tom Cannon but for me this out of the, the names that are currently banded around uh, within the struggle department that have been made known uh, or via the press uh, or social media or within, within with some credibility this one uh, for me has got me a little bit excited but anyway that's my take on it I'll be a, I'll be all aboard if Tom Cannon was to come on through but let me know your thoughts and opinions is he the kind of player that we want do we want somebody a bit more mature because realistically we're losing uh, a similar similar age player in Diaz and, and again we I think I think another nugget we need to take take away is looking for that striker that's peaking around about 26 27 years of age Gallagher is is, is of that mold of, a, of an age of a striker that I think we would would ideally want uh, with a prospect like this you know uh, waiting in the wings so I, I would be all aboard the cannon if we could get him on a permanent deal not alone permanent deal as well as a more mature striker who can find the back of the net. And I'm sure there's a few of them out there. But anyway, that's my take. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Of course, we look forward to seeing what you say down there. And of course, we'll see you for another video very soon.